Happy Hour podcast. I am back. Today we are going to go over Keyshawn Vaughn. He's a senior from Vanderbilt. He's listed at 5'10", 215 pounds. This past season he ran the ball 198 times for 1,028 yards with 9 touchdowns. Uh, he added 28 catches for 270, 270 yards with another touchdown there. Um, he is a transfer from Illinois. He's a Nashville native, so he's playing at home now in Vanderbilt. Um, he is going to be 23 before the start of next season. So he's a little bit on the older side. But I like what I see out of him, and we're going to go over that here. Uh, we have a 2019 game against LSU we're going to highlight and um, follow along with. And maybe afterwards we'll go into the Georgia game from last year just to give you a perspective of how he's grown. So let's get this underway. Great running back behind him, Keyshawn Vaughn. All and right, Vaughn I like Keyshawn Vaughn a lot. You see him find that hole, explode up the field, shows good speed, good vision on that play. He didn't have to really use any of his other traits. We'll get into those more. That was pretty, uh, pretty easy there. I do feel he's going to be more of a zone blocking runner instead of a power game. It's Vaughn again. But here we get to see a lot of his balance. He takes a hit, bounces off the first guy, falls forward. Another great, great showing of his balance there. It took two guys to essentially trip him up. He's always looking to go more, looking to go further. There's a little bit of a stiff arm there, nothing much. Neil. Hands it off this time. Great power here. Keeps the legs churning. The line, uh, the linemen get in there, help him get over the line. But a good showing from Keyshawn Vaughn here on this play. You like that. He meets the linebacker in the hole. He keeps those legs churning. The help gets there. He just keeps going, keeps going, keeps it alive and reaches that ball over the goal line. Gets the score. Again with the power. As he's going through the line, the defensive lineman gets his hands on him. There you see he stepped up, tried to make a block. He did get pancaked, threw on his butt. But he at least met the, the blitzer in the hole. Shows the ability to make a catch. LSU, very good defense right there with the play. Made another first guy miss. But that swarming defense at LSU is there to wrap him up. If Keyshawn were to go to a team with a good offensive line, his ability to make the first guy miss would, would just add up to great, great potential. Back to the running game, and LSU snuffs it out. Keyshawn Vaughn is the running back. Blitz up the middle. He shows the ability to pass block here. It's a first down for He's not the world's greatest pass blocker, but he's willing. Neal fires sideline, broken up, play clock at three, blitz up the middle, Neal, it's interesting watching the under belt film, I mean, if you're LSU, you'd love to see it too. they're almost always outmatched in their games, Keyshawn playing Vaughn the SEC, you see him find a small, small hole there, to really get into the secondary, made the first guy miss, tackle today. Uh -huh. so second guy wraps, and he falls forward using his power, Vaughn bottled up on the edge, Jacob Phillip. Vanderbilt will run it on first down. Mouthpiece in all game. What I like about him as well is he doesn't do a lot of dancing behind the line here. We see the speed. He gets away from everybody. Just the tiniest of holes he slid through there at the offensive line. But what I was saying is you don't see a lot of dancing from Keyshawn in the backfield. He gets lateral with the line, finds his hole, and hits it. He's not wasting a lot of time, especially at a place like Vanderbilt. That would have been uh, just terrible. Yeah, you can see on many of these plays that these defensive linemen are getting very quick penetration. You see him make two blocks there. He made the first block, realized somebody was coming off the edge, got over there. And tried to help his quarterback out as best he could. But then on the very next play, he just doesn't find anybody to block. 
and he competes in practice. He competes in. Now, obviously, LSU's way up. Vanderbilt's doing a lot of passing. But here we go. Keyshawn Vaughn catches one. Vanderbilt first down. Uh, first down. Keyshawn Vaughn. Really nothing there. The linebackers did a good job of filling the holes. Made him try to commit to something. Defensive linemen did their job. There's the tight end, Pinkney. They're going to go play action. Neal back the opposite way. He's got Pinkney wide open. And Pinkney finally gets tripped up. First carry, Gavin Schoenwald. Pardon me, quarterback for Vandy. Keyshawn Vaughn. There, I think we saw a bit of a missed hole. He does lose the ball there at the end. They did fool him. You know, forward progress was stopped. Um, but here, you see him uh, immediately discipline himself for losing control of the football. You've got to like to see that sort of thing. Here comes pressure from the edge. Easily could have been done in the backfield there on that last play. But Keyshawn... Uh, Made a guy miss, moved on, and he kept on going. Uh, let's watch a little bit of Georgia tape. Uh, Georgia has another very swimming defense. Very talented. Keyshawn Vaughn set a Texas Bowl record the last time he was in a game. And he yanks off and he created a monster shuffle up front. Here's the tight end, Jared Pinkney. Pinkney trying to find his way through. He is swarming. You see uh, Georgia... They, they swarm to the ball, and really in this game, what I wanted to, to show and kind of highlight is Keyshawn Vaughn's blocking. Um, I like him as a runner. He's going to need more work in the blocking game. Um, I just don't think he stacks up as a blocker yet. You see a bit of a spin move there. That's the only spin move I've seen in the three sets of films I've watched on him so far. Um, so it's not something I want to necessarily highlight, but he does have it in his bag of tricks there. You see the power. The guy latches on and he drags him for four yards before uh, number three there could pop him out of bounds. Another thing we're going to see in this set of film is they'll split him out in this game quite a few times, have him run routes. So you see that Vanderbilt can use him as a receiver as well as a running back. Again, finding the small hole. Georgia does a good job of closing things up though as quick as possible. Bit of a missed block there, I would assume. I think um, he should probably be looking for the linebacker. And uh, he goes to the middle linebacker, comes off the edge, puts some pressure on the quarterback. One of the few times you don't see him make the first guy miss. Another power run. Four or five guys around him. He just keeps driving the legs. You got to like seeing that. He's going to fall forward for you to get that extra yard. Shows the ability to get the outside using his speed and agility. Those aren't his biggest traits. You got to remember, this guy was a four-star recruit coming out of high school by 24-7 Sports. Uh, he received an offer from Vanderbilt. He also received offers from other schools. We see him split out here. Just shows the ability to, to do those things. But he originally was backing up uh, Josh Ferguson his freshman year. At Illinois, he did have a good freshman year. Um, so the thought was he was going to be the lead back going into his sophomore season. Uh, he started the season that way. Uh, was the starter for the first two games. He had a pretty decent game. Uh, the second game of the sophomore season, it just so happened that 
by the end of the season, he ended up being like the third option. So he wasn't really seeing the field as much as he would like in a Big Ten school. So he transferred to the SEC. Obviously, he had to redshirt due to the transfer. There we see a not a full commit to the block. He kind of tries to chop. Um, personally, in that scenario there, I'd like to see him set his feet, drop his hips, and power into the block. You see a little bit of attitude here on the sideline as he's just kind of letting the, go, the guy know, hey, you're not strong enough to take him down. Balance is too good. Got a little bit of swag to him. They're a little bit better of a block. He still just kind of rides the guy off to the side. Again, split way out here. Sadly, with a free play, they're not even going to target the short guy. They're going to go deep. Here we finally see a little bit of hesitation. He does get to the outside. But look at that power. Look at the ability to roll off first contact. He uses his jump cut there. Makes that first linebacker miss. The defensive back tries a wrap. He rolls off of that. The safety then takes a whack. And he still powers through. He made essentially three guys miss on the play. Very positive signs. Very good traits to see. Um, but as you can see just on this... Uh, Set a film here in this Georgia game. How many bad snaps have we seen just in this one game? Uh, you know, that just kind of shows you the talent he was playing with. Um, nothing, you know, no disrespect to the Vanderbilt players, but they're playing against some of the top college players in the nation in the SEC, and uh, Vanderbilt just doesn't necessarily stack up as well in that conference. So for Keyshawn to do what he did in this conference against this level of players, it's a, it's a good sign. Uh, I'll be interested to watch him at the combine in his pro day. I hope he runs a good time. I don't think he's going to have a blazing, blazing speed, but if he can get into the low uh, four fives, I think that's going to be a good thing. So I think we've seen enough for today in this Georgia game. It's, it's just a, uh, one swarm after another. He does use his uh, stiff arm there. But again, this Georgia defense just, they swarmed the ball. They gang tackle. Uh, they're a old school style defense. We're starting to see Keyshawn dance around a little bit more, trying to find any sliver of light. There we can see that the sack at least wasn't on him. Again, he runs outside. They don't seem to have him running any major routes. I, I know we saw that hook early in the early in the game. So, all right, guys. I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to say that's all we're going to see on Keyshawn Vaughn for today. If you have any comments, questions, let us know what you like about these, what we could do better. Obviously, there was some dead air in there, but... We're all just kind of watching the film together. Um, if you have any more uh, questions about Keyshawn Vaughn, want some more info, I can dig a little bit more and try to find what you're looking for. But for now, we're going to go ahead and call this a day. Thank you for viewing. I hope this helped. I like Keyshawn Vaughn. Um, it's a very, very strong running back class, though. So I'll be interested to see where he stacks up against the rest of the competition once I get all my film watching done.